If these three happen by 2027, 2029 becomes likely. That's it, 2029. That's just a few years away. I'm tracking three proofs. The chip cost curve, model capability crossing a key threshold, and robotics and battery costs. If two hit by 2027, Kurzweil's timeline holds. We will dive into the data to see if this timeline plausible or just wishful thinking. I'll show the evidence, the risks, and exactly what to watch next quarter. We will also present our loyal subscribers with an exciting surprise as well. So stay with us till the end and don't miss out on anything. Milestone 1 Compute Cost Curve Current status is promising. GPU compute is dramatically cheaper than a few years ago. For example, top tier H100 AI chips rent for roughly $2.85 to $3.50 per hour of cloud time in 2025. That's down from peaks around $8 per hour in 2024 as factories ramped up supply. However, total training bills remain astronomical and running the biggest models still costs millions. We will present three things as evidence. Cloud rentals. Industry trackers show a approximately 23% drop in H100 rental rates over one year. A silicon data index fell from $3.06 per hour to $2.36 per hour only from September 2024 to June 2025. On-premise chips. NVIDIA's new Blackwell GPUs B200 debut around $30,000 to $40,000 each. Even discounted Chinese variants will cost about $6.5 to $8,000 a piece, while it was $10,000 to $12,000 for last gen. Supply Trends more fabs and cloud providers mean greater supply. Analysts report ample H100 stock, so prices are falling, though premium GPU clusters still run high bills. The risks are also not avoidable. Export controls, US chip export restrictions, and geopolitical issues could limit supply and keep prices high in parts of the world. Energy and scale. Data centers may hit power or space limits, slowing hardware expansion. Budget inflation. Total spending on AI is soaring. Amazon and Microsoft budgets may swell faster than per chip costs fall. The net effect on training budgets is complex. Milestone 2 Model Capability Thresholds AI models are hitting new reasoning heights. OpenAI's latest O3 system, for example, shows step function improvements in problem solving and now even multimodal reasoning. We don't have full AGI yet, but these systems are creeping closer to human level performance on specific tasks. We have gathered three evidences to prove our point. Arc AGI Benchmark The Arc AGI Puzzle Challenge measures general reasoning. When you put GPT-4 and GPT-5 head-to-head on the Arc AGI, GPT-4 could only manage about 7-8% to on the toughest version, while GPT-5 bumps that up to nearly 10%. But compared to humans scoring close to 90%, it shows just how far AI still has to climb. Multimodal Reasoning GPT-5 is OpenAI's newest model with a unified reasoning system that routes between fast and deep thinking modes. It's faster, more factual, with 45-80% to 80 fewer hallucinations than GPT-4, O, and O3, and better at math, coding, and medical reasoning. Narrow Turing Notably, very recent reports show GPT-4.5 passed a classic Turing test setup, fooling human interrogators 73% of the time. This suggests LLMs are already matching human conversational patterns. This also have its fair share of risks. Benchmarks versus AGI. Excelling at ARC or other tests doesn't guarantee general intelligence. Tasks may plateau or have hidden shortcuts. Diminishing returns. The last big leap like O3 over GPT-4 might not come again soon. We could see smaller incremental gains. Regulation. 
growing calls to limit or vet AI could slow release of new models or impose costly safeguards. The questions to ponder here are, is smashing Arc AGI really as good as human-level reasoning? If models can now reason about images and code, which industries will flip overnight? Robotics, healthcare, or finance? But hey, remember, we promise a surprise in the beginning. We have created a detailed PDF that will educate you on different LLMs and their use cases. Drop your email using the form at the top of the description to get the PDF for free. You will also get free bonuses, tools, and tricks that will educate and train you about AI and its future. So people of our community are not the AI victims. Milestone 3 robotics and battery costs. This physical side of AI is moving fast too. Battery and robotics costs are plummeting, enabling more automation. For context, a top-tier humanoid robot still has a bill of materials around $35,000 today, but analysts see that dropping sharply. In fact, by 2030, it might be on the order of $17,000. Meanwhile, battery and robot adoption are both accelerating globally. We present to you three facts to prove our point. Battery packs. Bloomberg Neff reported battery pack prices hit a record low of $115 per kilowatt hour in 2024 about a 20% drop in one year. Looking ahead to 2025, they project a further modest decline of about $3 per kilowatt hour, lowering the average battery pack. Cheaper batteries mean electric vehicles, robots, and data centers can have much lower running costs. Robots the International Federation of Robotics, IFR. They estimate the global operational stock of industrial robots to grow from about 4.28 million in 2023 to roughly 4.37 million in 2024, and project it will reach approximately 4.83 million by 2025. Humanoid Bomb Chinese manufacturers project humanoid robot component costs could fall from today's $35,000 to about $17,000 by 2030 if most parts are locally sourced. For comparison, Tesla's Optimus robot currently costs $50,000 to $60,000 in parts. Let's look at the risks now. Mineral supply. Battery production needs lithium, cobalt, nickel. Any raw material crunch or geopolitics could slow this trend. Uneven adoption. Not all industries or countries adopt robots equally. Cultural, economic, or labor factors can cause uneven rollout. Integration challenges. Cheaper hardware doesn't automatically solve the hard problem of robot software, autonomy, and human safety. Pulling Milestones Together Kurzweil's Thesis So what does this all mean for Kurzweil's clock? In his view, the three trends compound exponentially. Cheaper compute, ever smarter AI, and scaling hardware create feedback loops. In effect, each advance kicks off the next faster. If our milestones hold steady, then a 2029 Turing-level AI become testable propositions, not pure fantasy. Things to watch for the next quarter. Simple but telling signals for whether Kurzweil's timeline stays on track. First, compute. GPU rental prices act like a health check for AI progress. As of August 2025, you can rent an NVIDIA H100 GPU for roughly $2.70 to $2.99 per hour. Some even list as low as $2.12 per hour or $1.99 per hour. If that drops further toward $2 per hour or below, it means compute is becoming more accessible. If it stays stubbornly around $3 plus, it suggests cost cost is still a barrier. Second, models. Benchmarks like Arc AGI are our scoreboard. OpenAI's O3 model scored 75.7% .7 on the standard evaluation and up to 87.5% in high compute settings, huge gains over predecessors. If in the next quarter a new model pushes ARC scores another 5 to 10 points, that signals forward momentum. If scores stall or barely budge, it might mean we've hit a reasoning plateau. Third, robots and batteries. 
Bloomberg Neff forecasts lithium-ion battery pack prices around $112 per kilowatt hour, down from much higher levels just a few years ago. If we see news of sub-$100 per kilowatt hour battery deals or commercial pilots of humanoid robots in warehouses, that's a sign physical AI is accelerating. Otherwise, progress could still be stuck in labs, not logistics. And of course, the wildcard risks, chip export restrictions. Though recent deals allow H20 and MI308 chips back into China in exchange for a 15% revenue cut, controls, or new requirements could chill compute access or slow hardware diffusion. Then, we have energy or grid limitations as data center expansions could face permitting or power constraints. So here's my question for you. Is Ray Kurzweil right? Or is exponential optimism just a mirage that crashes into physical reality? Drop a comment with your pick. Which milestone matters most? Compute getting cheaper, models getting smarter, or robots getting economically viable? Because one of these is probably the bottleneck that determines everything.